Hey, Freak Face. We haven't done this in a long time, have we? This is going to be a little tutorial. Widely requested. Everybody has seen my house on Crewcraft. I thought it was a nice little house, but a lot of people saying, B-dubs, do a tutorial. Ever since I built it, like episode one, people have been saying, B do a tutorial, do a tutorial, show us how to do it. To me, I'm like, why? Why do you want a tutorial of this? It's cakewalk. Well, not really, right? It's actually not a cakewalk. There's a lot of little detail things in here. So that it need explaining. So this is an exact replica of my crewcraft house, but this is exactly how it would have liked it to look if I had all the materials. So now I will teach you. Well, let me just give you a quick walkthrough so you can see. Da, 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 da. Why, where'd the fire go? Where's the freaking fire? Hey, this is supposed to be lit. We'll light it later. Walk through here, nice kitchen, bedroom. Those of you that watch the crewcraft, you know all about it. Access to a basamante. Upstairs and attic space. This is minus all the expansions that I did up above because I don't think they're necessary for like a starter house if you're doing a starter house. So let's -a go! This, my friends, is your frame. This is the base. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then all the way over to this corner, because this is where you started, just make an angle to meet those up. Now, we want to, on every outside corner, place a log that we will build up. Boom. And boom. There's going to be a lot of counting today, so buckle up for that. This is going to be a two-story area, so just build it up kind of high. I'm not going to give you numbers here, because these are actually, as you can see, very random heights for interest to keep it interesting. You don't want the exact same heights. That's boring. Everybody knows what the exact same height is. Oh, you, you, you can count to seven. Yes, we can count to seven, and we can count to a thousand too. I, according to this, okay. But then you got. Then you're gonna come in with uh, some mossy. You don't have to, but just mix it up a little bit. Add some different types of bricks randomly here and there. Pick a spot, right? You don't have to do it exactly like me. Just pick some spots and mix, mix it up a little bit. Maybe there's no mossy on this one. Maybe it doesn't need it. And so now you have a, something like this. Now this is one of the more interesting parts that I don't know if I ever really talked about in my videos, but we're just putting, this is where our doorway is, so we're not gonna put anything here. But on this bottom layer here, we're going to just put dark oak. This is dark oak, my friends. Just a layer of dark oak on the bottom. And then follow that up with a layer of spruce wood. This is spruce. I can prove it in vanilla. I will show you in vanilla later what this all looks like. We're doing this in Sfax because that's what we're using on a crew craft. Come in with the spruce and then come in with oak. So you get a little bit of a subtle gradient and just layer it like this. This isn't how we leave it, but this is a good start. So you can at least get the idea. So now, that's a what you have. Grab yourself an oak wood stair. Pop it one like here. Here's the front. We're on the front still. As you can see, that's where our doorway is. Pop a stair sideways like that and then pop one like that and knock that out for a window. Easy enough. Take this right here. Knock that out for a window. Easy? You following me? I think you following me. We good. Come on over here. On this side, pop that out for a window. Now on the back side, you go one, two, three. Pop that out for a window. And then right here in the middle will be a doorway. And then right here, another window. So all the way around, that's where your windows will be. Now on these logs, I like to go like this. I like to take some stairs and pop them right here. Right where it kind of joins right there. It just adds a little bit of depth, a little bit of detail. Kind of interesting. And we're going to also do this here at the layer right above the oak layer. Just on those. Now here, we're going to work on our second story. There's the front door again for reference. So we're going to come across here all the way. Hello. All the way across here. One, two, three, four, right there. One, two, three, a four, uh, right there. Perfect. And then you can put an upside down stair right there for your doorway. 
Well, let's get this second story worked out, shall we? One, two, three, four. Now, since we're doing a gradient, which is dark to light, we're just going to leave these all oak, if that's okay with you. And for reference, just this is going to be a floating block, but you won't see it, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Don't tell nobody. It's our little secret. We're all right. One, two, three, and four. And then boop, boop. Just like so. And then I think it's just like that. How many up is it? One, two? Oh, surely it is. Okay. Yes, one. And then you go like this. Here's a cool little trick. So you go like this. Boom. And then on this side, you go like this. Boom. Why are we doing that? It's just to add some interest. What's wrong? What's wrong with that? Can't something be interesting for once in your life? Sure it can. It's very interesting. Okay, come up like that, add some more logs here. And I think we got a window right there. Yep, in the middle. A little window in the middle right there. And we're gonna do the same thing on this backside. We're gonna put a log right there, but don't worry, don't worry. Bring that up like that, different height. Boom, boom, maybe that's a big, huge one. Come over like a so. And same window situation over here. Whoops, not a fence. Or not a, whatever the freaking, what is that? I have no idea. Okay, boom, boom, and boom, boom. There you go. There's your second story. Obviously, you pick a glass color. I went with cyan. And just fill them in. Fill in your window holes. They're all over the place. Just look for them, hunt them down, fill them in, and you're going to be good. Now the roof of this place is a little bit interesting, but it starts out really simple. So grab some cobblestone stairs, grab some cobblestone slabs, and grab some full cobblestone. And we're gonna go right on this layer, right above the window. That detail's still in there if you're walking up close, so don't worry about it. See, see what's gonna happen? Yeah, you see. Okay, and then bring it all the way over, going around those logs, uh-huh, you see how the interest pops in there now that the logs are sticking through? You didn't think I knew what I was talking about until now, did you? Of course, on the underside, we go like this. Right? I think so. Yes. Bring this over. Oh, also, we didn't work out this right here. We're going to have this come over like a so. And then bring this up. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. And then this one goes a little weird. I think we go like this and then like that. Yes, we do. So the roof isn't going to be exactly perfect. Even though this is an odd number here, we're going to force it to do even number things, which is going to end up looking very, very nice. So that's it for this roof, okay? You're just coming up one, two, three, four, five, six, and coming down one, two, three, four, five okay so it ends up being a little higher on that side see how it's a little bit different but it's going to get way crazier than that don't worry now for this roof over here we do things just a little bit differently we're going to go like this we're going to start on the same level as this stair block above the window and come across here whoops here so instead of going that way the roof's going to go this way. I should probably show you this part. I'm just wrapping the roof over. Easy, right? We all know how to do these types of roofs. But when we come in here, it's going to do a little thing where it's going to connect with this. Now, if you just go like this again, it's going to break that disconnect. Kind of like that connection. So we're going to leave it we're, and we're going to be happy about it. Same thing here. Boom, boom. That's going to connect like that. Of course, we're going to mess things up a little bit, but that's good how that connects like that. So here's what our roof looks like. It looks really perfect, right? It's standard. It's your, just your standard Minecraft roof. Oh, yeah, we've all seen these 100,000 times, right? Aha! Now is where we screw everything up. Come in with half slabs and full blocks. Come under here. Boom. Put a half slab right under there. Break that stair. And put that right there. These stairs were supposed to be here before. I'm sorry. Okay. But you see, now, what are we doing? Now we have all this weird oblong shape. Look at this. Huh? Interesting. 
Now you're standing out in the crowd. Hmm? Check it out. Check it out. And then maybe we want to make this upside down stair. Make that a half a shrab. Maybe make this stair go like this. Oh, yes. Fan freaking tastic. Huh? Just get some interest going on this lower level. On this lower level, as long as that looks interesting, just break it up. Follow the same flow that you put in place, but then break it up. Go along this ridge right here and say, hmm, that ain't gonna be like that anymore. And that ain't gonna be like that anymore. I'm gonna break it up. What, you still have the same f flow? What are you so scared about? The whole flow is still there. Nothing's wrong. Everybody's cool. Look at it. It's fantastic. Now, it's an interesting shape, okay? If you just do that to the, to the eaves and the ridges, you're good. But, come on in. Come on into here. Come on into the stairs. Or, in, yeah, into the main roof. And start popping some full blocks, right? Pop a, pop a full block right there. Maybe put like a, like a half slab right there. Maybe two half slabs right next, next to each other. Hmm? See what I'm talking about? See what's happening? Now all of a sudden, this roof looks really old, rickety, interesting, seeing better days, right? And you do that throughout the whole roof. I would call this complete on this side. You do that throughout the whole roof and you have something like this. Huh? Come on now. It just messed it up a little bit. And now it's interesting, isn't it? Oh, by the way, right here, we're going to knock these out like this. We're going to put upside down stair, upside down stair. Boom, boom. Knock those out. And we're going to get a half a shrab, the wooden half slab. And we're going to put them boom, boom right there this exterior is nearly completed i think if we just do a couple more finishing touches put like a little wooden fence post right there right there notice there's a lot of random a lot of just randomness throughout this something like that now here we are going to have a little bit of a chimney situation inside which is something we'll be getting to in just a moment but if you just start building up like this, are you following what I'm doing? I don't have to speak it because you, you advanced. I'm proud. Okay, just build this up like so. Keep it going. Boom, and a stair there. And then build this up as high as you feel for your scale. Right? That one's maybe not as high as this one. Maybe it is. But then on top of it, pop a little flower pot to act like a flu and then you can grab some glass some gray glass or some light gray glass and then just kind of think about uh, which way the wind may blow and build a little bit of a, a smoke pattern coming out and <clears throat> with the smoke patterns it's all it's all random you know there's nothing there's no science to this you just got to make sure that you're going in in a certain direction right you want to make sure that it's it's if the wind is blowing that way, all the smoke is blowing that way. You see, we, we have that effect here as well. Now I say it's time we work on the interior a little bit. Put a, put, a, put a stair right there. Pop a little something right there. And you got a door. Now, you got this huge space, right? And a lot of people just take a huge space and they just say, Okay, I put my bed over here, my chest over here, blah, blah, blah. We like over here at the BWO house... We like to do things a little bit more interesting than that. We like to kind of, kind of add as much, uh, it, as much atmosphere as you can by kind of cramping it in a little bit. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, this is the hay bales. Hay bale. And of course, in this texture pack, it makes a fine carpet, but it actually makes a really nice carpet in the regular texture pack as well so that's good we're going to take a torch we're going to pop it right there next to the door and we're also going to take a trap a door and we're going to need to now that we can do this pop it right there very good and you'll see why in just a wee little bit okay so that's good so you walk in you've got that you've got your floor worked out now we're going to come in with some oak wood and come out two, come out two, and then log. Just like that. Cool? 
and then we're going to bring a log over like a so to there. Is that cool? You got it. You got it. So that works out a little bit of a divider for our room. And then we're going to take one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just like that. Cool? Yeah, we cool. So you got a little hallway here. Yeah, then we put some seating right here. I got a little confused there for a second. Put some seating right here in this window as well. Same color. It works. And then here's our fireplace. This is a really cool thing. Let me get the slab ready as well because we're going to use that quite often here. Um, there we go. Okay, so fireplace goes like so. Right side upstairs, right side upstairs, upside down, upside down, upside down, and a slab. Fireplace done. And then I pop the mantle right on the top lip of that stair. Just like that. Flint and steel, where you at? Right there, baby? Very good. And come in here. Flame on! Now this probably only works with fire spread off. If fire spread was on, you'd probably blow your whole house to kingdom come. And we've got this wide open ceiling, and this can have a cool effect, but I like to come in with a stair. This is a dark oak stair, and go like this. I think this adds a nice, interesting, whoop, got it. Nice, interesting ceiling to your place. Look at how cool that looks. Why'd the fire go out? Oh, fire spread? <gasps> Ooh, oh, fire spread. Right. There we go. Okay. Now it'll work. Well, it didn't burn the place down, thank God. Up above the mantle, we have shot down a humongous moose. So let's do it with an acacia stair or a jungle stair. I like the acacia stair for this, though. And some birch fence or fence gate. Moose. Hmm. <laughs> and then uh, over here, we're going to have a door right there, obviously. Um, and then I like to put some bookshelves right here on the corner. A couple of bookshelves. This is where the tutorial gets a little bit on the uh, extreme detail side. Put some bookshelves right there. And then log up there. And then we'll come over to boom. Like that. And then this will be our bedroom. Cool. Here's our kitchen, three workbenches like that, a furnace right there, a cauldron full of water right there, and then I like to pop a little ladder on the edge just like that. And then up above, you can pick out whatever you want for the upper cabinets. It's no big deal. I like other note blocks. They're not bad. And the floor for the kitchen, we want it to be a little bit different. We won't, don't want it to be exactly the same as the other floors in the house. So I like to kind of do this tile design. Boom, boom boom and then that that just a back and forth tile that separates the kitchen off from the rest of the house doesn't it on top of this we're going to put an activator rail now depending on the orientation see that face is unfortunately the wrong way but that's okay put an activator rail right there and then put a blue stand right in the corner to act as your kitchen aid and that kitchen with the completion of a roof, same kind of fancy roof that we like to do, on top, finish that, finishes that baby right off. And with the kitchen completed, I like to continue the roof over like this, all the way through the hallway, up into the door, just before the door. This one is back one from that, okay? And now we start our stairway upstairs. Start right at this window right here, up, up, and then an upside down stair right here, stair right there, and a stair right there. Perfect. Now upstairs I want to use dark oak for my floor, so I just fill this in now that I'm here. And it's okay that we have that over there, because that's going to be kind of an attic space, so it's no big deal. Now, we've got this space here. Uh-huh. Fill that in like a so. And don't worry about don't worry about any of this showing or anything like that. And I go a stair like that, a stair like that, stair like that, stair like that, and then that's our doorway into our attic space. Now, I've got a log, and I'm gonna bring it across right here for the roof. That's how we hide that weird edge. We don't just want wide open ceilings; those aren't interesting. This is. You see exactly what I'm doing? 
I hope you do because it's important. Bring this over like that. Do stairs like that. Cool. And if you want to get real fancy fly, you get some fences and you go like this. You go like this. And you go like this. Let's put that attic door in. It's a little jungle door. It's pretty cool. And then we'll put some bookshelves right here and right here. Come across with some slabs and a slab down on the ground. Because that's what our, where our seat is. Boom, boom. There's your chair. Huh? Not so bad, not so bad. You can tuck a torch up in here if you want to. That's no problem. Boop. And put a little piece of what we will we will call paper right here. And a little lever action. Ain't gonna hurt anybody. There you go. Not bad. I put a painting here, here, and here. Back down in the downstairs main area. Just to kind of keep things a little interesting. You could put a painting there or something else if you'd like. And an armor stand here. Of course, you'd furnish it out yourself. But if you take an armor stand, even though this is a trapdoor, and boom, it'll fall right on top of it. Load it up with your favorite armor. This is a bit of a tricky spot right here. We'll put the door here. And then we'll put another door here. Now that's not on this block, okay? That's on this block. We do that because this is so tight quarters. We'll put this door in here, actually. This is, these quarters are so tight that it's gotta be right there to be able to get down. Because the way we get down is like this. We don't need that there, uh-huh. And then if we take some stairs, we can go like this. Whoops, no, that's why that, that's why that's that way. There you go, like that, like that, and like that. And now you're into your basement. It's tight quarters, but it works. Now, here's your bedroom. Oh, where all the magic happens. Take two beds, if you please. Boom, 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 very good. Right here, I actually end up changing these to stair, get the stair, to this dark oak stairway. Boom, boom, pop that just like that. And ain't nobody gonna know how tricky you is because you put a couple of those right up there. And you could go like that if you want. That actually works out pretty nice. And then over here, boom, boom, boom. And get a jukebox for yourself so you can play some music at nighttime. And there you go, a quaint little bedroom area with two windows, a chest, and everything. I know I'm going super fast, but there's a lot we have to get through, so it's just important that we do. Put a little wool block there, and a wool rug right there, so it gives it a little bit of a ruffle, okay? Throw a flower, a fowler, throw a fowler, flower pot over there, throw a flower in it. Throw a flower pot. Dang it, I just had it. Throw a flower pot right here. But we're going to actually first put a little bit of a hearth area. And then put a tree in it. Oh, come on now. We're looking good right now, v does. Okay. Rug. Carpet. Rug. Little fur... Excuse me. Little furled up rug situation right there. Ain't so bad. Ain't so bad at all. Now, one of the final steps for this house is this gradient, okay? We kind of just left it as it was, right? With this, just like it is, right there. But, we can mix this up now. And this is kind of difficult. You have to just use your eyes. So, pick a block up here where you would kind of suck the darker part up and swap them. This is a very hard step to explain. And you kind of have to go by feel here. But you, the goal, the end goal, is to make it not stripes, but still have the feeling of a gradient to where it's going from darker to lighter. That's the important part here. We want it to feel like it works its way up. And it's not the exact same thing all the way through. And outside of some landscaping that you can do, which is really simple, just do that. Just do that like everywhere. Maybe pop this like this, but just do that everywhere. Just a little bit of a cross situation. All of a sudden, what? Oh, I can't landscape? You wanna bet? 
boom, boom, whoops, boom, 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 boom. Easy, easy landscape job. What? Camp bone meal? Ooh, I would recommend. Do the same flowers, like exact same flowers. Don't have the random flowers all over the place. Pick a flower and stick to it. This block here is the path block. But now, let's take a look at these houses in the B-dubs texture pack, shall we? This is a vanilla texture pack that I've been working on myself. Uh, kind of just trying to stick to vanilla, but improve it a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Not bad, huh? Cute little house. Does the trick. Impress all your friends on your server. I think it's very nice. Let's take a walk inside. Obviously, it's a little on the bright side, but it gets the job done, doesn't it? It's nice. You know what it is. You can make it out. Oop, fireplace not lit. That's okay. But yeah, it works. It works. And then, of course, we can look in regular vanilla, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. Resource packs, turn them off. Thank you, sir. There we go. Just a little bit on the higher contrast side, a little less detail, but you get the gist. So, I think overall, it's a very, very nice house. A little more advanced. This isn't for your very beginner Minecrafter, right? If you can pull this off, if you follow the tutorial, you got some skills, and I'm proud of you. Let me know. Send me some pictures if you did make it. And if you made any variations of it, I'd love to see that as well. I'm going to put a download to this world in the description of this video so you can <laughs> land right here and just walk yourself around and uh, do a little step-by-step -step along with me. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave some love on it. Subscribe if you want more of anything in your life, and I will give it to you. Anything. No, not anything. All right, we'll see you all next time.